I once wet myself whilst babysitting a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. When was this? I reckon I was about... F 12 or 13. It's quite young to be babysitting. 12. Not in the north. Mm. <laughs> what people are parents by that? I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so... So was whose who's baby was this then? Was it a neighbour's? It, it was, um... No, no, it was like, uh, like a niece, I think. Uh, uh, like a niece? No, no, it was... <laughs> was, was, it, was it a nephew? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a niece. No, niece. a cousin. Oh, well, it's hard no. to... Comp it's a niece. And why didn't you go to the toilet? Because, um... So I, like, I heard, a I heard, like, a voice upstairs. Like, like a voice? Like a voice, yeah. <laughs> like a niece's voice? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a voice of a, of a man, like, ah. a, of someone who shouldn't have been up there. Like, it, it's I, like a voice that I didn't know. Yeah. And I just got scared. I thought it was a ghost. So you heard this voice and yeah. you went to investigate? It was on the baby monitor. So... What did the voice say? It said, um... Where's oh. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It wasn't an instruction. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like a voice. I'm in the toilet, it's occupied. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did the voice say? Well, I can't remember the exact words. Well, you always forget what a ghost says. Did, did he speak in English? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was English. What kind of accent? Like a northern accent. <laughs> he wasn't going... Oh, it wasn't right. doing, like, a typical ghostly noise. It was just going, um... Hey, up. <laughs> And then did you go upstairs? I went up and uh, there was nothing there. And did you ever get to the bottom of what this voice was? Yeah, I think what had happened was the baby monitor had tuned into one of the neighbours' baby monitors. Oh, and yeah. I was just listening to some, like, someone three doors down. <laughs> when you realised that you'd had an accident because you were frightened, Yeah. did you then make any attempt to sort of get changed or to no, dry I still... can, I, can I say, Sarah, this, it's a lovely line of inquiry, but can I just go a step further? and ask the extent of the spillage, because... <laughs> well, no, no. There's the full-on... There's the deluge. Then there's something that some of the more middle-aged men on the panel might, <laughs> might, might, might... might be aware of, which is the sitting and... Oh, not again. <laughs> the... <laughs> well, Rob, can I just say, you're saying this out loud? <laughs> <laughs> was it, was it age-related seepage? All did oh, the levy break. Are you, Rob, are you hoping to become... Because there are many products for gentlemen of that age with that problem. Are you hoping to become the face of them? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're wearing a bridle will you have real peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> Rhymes with Dryden. Yeah, Dryden. <laughs> Stay Dryden in a bridle. Right, there you go. <laughs> Dryden? Oh, dried on. Yeah. yeah. With a bridle. It's dried yes. on. It's dried on. <laughs> so you go up, you get to the niece's bedroom, you check on her. Yeah. When does the penny drop? I went up, grabbed the child who was asleep in her cot. Yeah. I went out the front door and my... Front you actually door ran out the house? Yeah, yeah, I did. Screaming what? I didn't scream, Lee. Why didn't you just... wear yourself? Well... <laughs> yeah. Don't try and keep dignity with this story. <laughs> I didn't scream, I just wet my pants. <laughs> so I just... My auntie and uncle live around the corner, so I just went round there. And what did you say to them? There's a ghost in the house, so I've got the baby. <laughs> and, what, and what did they say? Have you wet your pants? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your team thinking? Harry, does this strike you as the truth? I'm still back at like a niece, like a nephew. Yeah. Uh, it was unsettling, isn't it? Bit, bit, yeah. That got me off my, my feed right there. So, uh, Harry thinks it's a lie, and uh, Sarah says it's... I think... I kind of think it might be true. Oh, split oh, decisions, dear. I hate them. Who can persuade the most? Uh, I think if... I think Smithers could. Can we make him do the oh, voice, God. That's, that's early. Yeah. Round one. <laughs> yeah. one. I thought at least have the dignity to wait to the second <laughs> half. Is it truth or a lie? Never mind that, do Smithers. <laughs> no. OK. Here we go, Josh! OK, we'll go with Harry and say it's a lie. Say it's a lie. OK. Jason, truth or lie? It is... True. Oh. I was once hospitalised after fooling around with a blow-up toy. <laughs> David C. What was the blow-up toy? Well, it was a lilo. No, just an, a normal flat lilo? It, it was a normal flat lilo, but yeah. it had a bit sticking out of it that held your... Margarita, like a cup yeah. holder thing on the edge. Where that... were you? Club Tropicana? 
Well, somewhere very <laughs> similar to that, Ibiza. And I was in the swimming pool, and you know when you put your arms up here on your lilo as you're laying down? Yes. And someone came up underneath my lilo, pushed it over, and my arm completely goes out of socket. What happened to your margarita? <laughs> <laughs> Spilt. How long did it take for your arm to heal up afterwards to get back to normal? Great well, question, I, David. Well, I get out and I'm on the side of the swimming yeah. pool and I'm in agony, screaming. Yeah. All the other tourists were trying to name which tune it was that you were singing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, my wife calls the ambulance. Now, the ambulance that comes is one of those really small ones that they have in Spain. So, when they try to put me in the ambulance, I don't go in properly. Yeah. How small was it? <laughs> because my arm's sticking out and I can't get through the door. So the guy gets out the ambulance, the ambulance man, and I'm screaming, and, I, and my wife is saying, give him something for the pain, give him something for the pain. So the guy takes off his T-shirt, rolls it up into a little ball, puts it in my mouth and says, bite on this. <laughs> wow. And I had to bite on his sweaty T-shirt. Did, to that, stop the did pain. that help with the pain? Well, it just stopped the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take for your arm to get back to normal state? Oh, no, fine? I had an operation. <laughs> I was My client there. does not want to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell, tell you what happened. I, I was in there, and uh, you know. Uh, I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with your knees. <laughs> I like to have the, the tendons sewn together. Yeah. And you know when you, they wheel you into that recovery room? Yeah. And uh, you, as you wake up, you'll know, as you wake up from kind of uh, anaesthetic, you get really cold, don't yes. you? Yes. So I'm shivering away in bed, and I'm saying to the people in the, in the recovery room, oh, I'm freezing, I'm freezing. All of a sudden, this nurse, who was a huge, big woman, hears me <laughs> saying that... <laughs> just, hears me saying that across the other side <laughs> of the room, <laughs> and... <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> she, she hears me saying across the other side of the room that I'm cold. Yeah. Next minute, she comes bounding across, lays on top of me, saying, I'll keep him warm, I'll keep him warm. <laughs> it was like a terrifying version of Baywatch. What kind of... I, I repeat, what kind of unorthodox medical procedures are going on here? Now? <laughs> so how long did it take you to recover from this? <laughs> I'm just thinking, Martin, that if, if we wanted to bring this to life, to visualise it... Shall I be yeah. the nurse? Mel, you <laughs> could be the nurse. Can I just... No, can I just say, I am, I am only half... half-dressed. <laughs> so I'm lying down... In Watch bed. your shoulder now, Martin. I'm lying down in bed... Right. ...saying... Yes. I'm freezing! I'm freezing! He's very cold. He's very, very cold. Please. I'm freezing! <laughs> Get on! Oh. 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 Martin, are you all right? Yes. Are you all right? So it was oh, kind of like awful. that. Oh. <laughs> but was, I'll tell you something, it was the last Lilo I've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> so how long was you at did it take to <laughs> injury? <laughs> now then, uh, what are you thinking? Truth or lie? I think it's <laughs> pure fallacy. Lie? Uh, I say for sure he's lying. Oh, yeah. Lie, we'll say lie. You'll say it's a lie. Martin Kemp, lie or truth? <laughs> I think he means it's true. <laughs> I thought you were expecting Mel to press your nipple and it would come <laughs> up. This much is true. <laughs> <laughs> On the first day of my holiday, I lost my glasses so I was forced to read an entire book through a set of binoculars I found in the villa. <laughs> so much tea. I've been here all day and I haven't seen you wear glasses. Well, that's cos uh, I wore contact lenses. Why didn't you wear contact lenses? Because I didn't take them on that particular holiday. What was the book? The book? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the Kipper. By? Brian Fish. <laughs> Book called The Kipper by Brian Fish. I, I, have a, I, have a, I, 
haven't read it or heard of it. What's the genre of this book? It's a thriller. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Kipper was the code name for a spy. Where, where were you on holiday? I was actually in Malaysia. What part of Malaysia? Coconut Island. What? <laughs> <laughs> Right. What make with binoculars? I think you're fine. I didn't have my glasses. How do I know that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I tried to look through my binoculars to find out, and I even looked into the mirror, but it just wasn't working out. The whole thing. I was like, because <laughs> yeah, the book had to be a long way away from me. Right? <laughs> so Sorry, it had to be a long way away from me. But you. otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, it's so close to you. When you get to the thrilling bit, it's too scary. <laughs> So I have to... It's, it's, How did you set it up? Uh, the book was at the other end of the... We had a little pool in the villa, and it was on the other end of the pool, and I would sit there like that. <laughs> and then... How would, you turn, how would you turn the pages? I'd put it down there, and then uh, I'd get up and I'd walk. <laughs> turn the page, crease it, come back round again. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you got there and you'd forgotten your glasses. Correct. And how did... Them. Yeah, how did you manage to get there... Because ..without I... realising? Because I forgot them. I left them somewhere en route. Right. But where? Where? I put them down, like this, in yep. the taxi. I stepped out for a second. I was literally rubbing my eyes like that. <laughs> the taxi's gone. I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Is that exact word I was thinking of? You hadn't arrived at your de destination. I don't... I took the glasses off for a second, like that. To put them down in but the taxi. But there's a reason I took them, put them down for a second. Yeah. Put them down. They're my proper glasses. Yeah. To put on my sunglasses when I get out of the car. The sunglasses yeah. are prescription. Yeah. I step out the car, yeah. he drives off, I've left the glasses in the back, I yeah. can now see perfectly clearly through the sunglasses. I know what you're going to ask me, so I'll just get <laughs> to that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> During the holiday, I then lost the sunglasses. <laughs> Another taxi? No, I just... I was in the sea. You were in the sea and, what, you put them on a dolphin? I was in the sea. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was a dolphin. I thought it was one of those glasses rests. You know, <laughs> uh, no, I, put, I just put them down. Oh, I didn't put them down. I put them on. And I went into the sea, had a little swim, and then a big wave came like that and went... Pfft, like that. That's not the bit that knocked my glasses off, though. Uh, I just up and went, wow, look at that wave. <laughs> and then I lost it. Yeah. I'm going to have to spend the next... Whatever it was, two weeks without my sunglasses. So I just stayed... reading reading a book from reading one book. end of a pool uh, to another. This is it with your with your. How big a it book? It was awful. How Even everything was like that. Even the, the foreplay. I said, go over there so I can have a good look. <laughs> <laughs> That's very pleasant. Thank you. And then I'd walk over. <laughs> and she'd say, Do I look sexy in this? I'd be like, oh, I'm going back. <laughs> So, what are you thinking? Look, I, I wear glasses. You, you are so protective of your glasses. There are various implausible moments in this story. <laughs> I would say the losing of sunglasses in the sea is not the most implausible. <laughs> I would say it is the image of Lee sitting at one end of a swimming pool <laughs> with his binoculars and a book propped up <laughs> at the other end of the swimming pool. A swimming pool he has to walk round in order to turn the page. So. You're saying it's a lie. Well, I, yeah. I would say it was a lie. I think yeah. we're saying... I think we're <laughs> unanimous on that. All right. So, Lee, <laughs> truth or lie? It is, in fact... Where's the button? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when I'm close. <laughs> yeah. Lie! <laughs> I recently had to charm a spider out of my shoe by tooting a flute at it. <laughs> David's team. <laughs> um, so, where, where were you? I was at home. So, was this spider a normal British domestic spider? Yes. H how big was it, Bob? It was... It's black, but it's not white. And what colour was it? <laughs> <laughs> It's not the ones that have got a little body and big, long legs. Mm. No, sorry, it wasn't the type with a, with a small body and long legs. Yeah, no. What type was it? it was well, you one... can wear the rest out yourself, surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big body, small legs. Yeah. Was this a gerbil? <laughs> no, that's a if bird. If it had been a gerbil, I'd have used a loot. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. 
it's actually just a very everyday situation. My wife doesn't like um, spiders, very right. scared of them, and it's kind of my job to get rid of spiders. I don't like them either. I'm not going to use my hands or whatever. No, you wouldn't. Can you mime the, the blow moment? Don't fall for this. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Just the thing for you if you haven't got a flute. Close your eyes. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. Did you blow it into the shoe? Yes, I blew down the flute to bring it out into the heel area. Mm -hmm. These were a kind of snakeskin elastic slipper. Yeah. I brought up just under the windowsill, above where the cat litter is. Yeah. I put them there because I wanted to get that height, and it didn't so you come out. So you, yes, you moved I, the slipper with the spider in it? I moved it, facing the cupboard where I keep the plates. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, I can't, I mean, it's got little holes in it. Uh. And the spider emerged. <sighs> so the spider emerged, but didn't leave the shoe or slipper? No, didn't leave Did the, the slipper. Didn't no, leave the slipper? Just... I had a look around, <laughs> and went back in. Well, so I you were know. no better off, were you? No, no then... I didn't feel like I was better off, but I, I, at least I'd um, found out that we owned a flute as a family. <laughs> if I was scared of spiders, I wouldn't go anywhere near that slipper. I'd just leave it. I would just let I'm not I'm... that scared, I'm... Then, I'm... Are you not? Scared I'm of one to ten? I'm ginger about them. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger? Is Did... that right? A ginger? Is that a word? Family. It is, yeah, That's yeah. a word. Yeah. <laughs> It's the correct word in that yeah, situation. It's like you, you pick something up gingerly. gingerly. It's not. It doesn't just mean the flavour ginger. <laughs> a ginger nut is not just a biscuit. It could be a tentative testicle. <laughs> Do you now know who the flute belongs to? Yes, of course. It was my son's flute. Your son is he a yeah. flautist? No. We hoped he would be. But he could never find the flute. <laughs> but... Well, what are you thinking? Well, what I'm confused by is that if you fear spiders... I do a bit. ..and you believe that there's a spider in this shoe, I think you would be afraid to move the shoe. Yes. Not at all. I also think you would have worried about, as you go to take the breath to blow it, you accidentally breathe in. Yes! Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have to breathe in to breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what, which way are you leaning? It sounds too much like the surreal world of Bob Mortimer to be actually the truth. I think it's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie? You think it's a lie? Yeah. No, nobody in the world owns a flute, really, do they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? You think it's yeah. a lie? Yeah. Bob, truth or lie? It was... A lie. <laughs> I have developed a technique to help me deal with annoying idiots. <laughs> Lee, do you want to kick this one off? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, who, who do you find is an annoying idiot? I mean, what type of people? Just, you know, the GP. <laughs> you know, the general public wind me up from time to time. Okay. And I really want to tell them how I feel. And instead of doing that, I, um, I scat. You do what? Whoops. <laughs> I, uh, I scat. Can I ask at this point, what is a scat? <laughs> do you a know jazz, what a scat jazz, is? Jazz, jazz well, it's scatting, like a jazz, isn't it? A jazz, the old jazz, jazz scat. It's, your basic, yeah. it's so, your basic jazz rap. So you must make random noises. Let's, can we have a scenario now? Right? Is it a that's, a, that's a very negative view of music, isn't it? Lee, yeah. <laughs> that's jazz, <just>, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> so, if I'm the doctor, yeah. what would annoy you if I was a doctor? Um, if you kept me waiting for too long and then, say, you come into the, into the reception room and I thought I was next... Right. ..and I went to get up and then you picked somebody else, Right, OK, well, imagine that scenario. OK. okay. Uh, so, I walk in, I'm about, you think I'm going to see you, and I go, uh, Mr. Bryden, we've got the results of your test. And I go, oh, for the bap ba di bap ba di la bap ba da 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 Do you, do you promise me, Mike, you always do it out loud? You don't just do it in your, your mind? Always vocalise it. So Otherwise, what do you mean? If, it, if I don't let it out, it might turn into a, a haemorrhoid. <laughs> I must say, that explains a lot. 
Now, imagine now, imagine I've made you angry, OK? Perhaps he's given you an STD. <laughs> At least have the decency to say I've given it to him via his wife. <laughs> right now, watch him now. Go on, jazz scat him, quick. I'm going to have a big guy because it's a boat. You live down the back, down, 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 down. It's a bubble boop up. It's a bubble boop, 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 bah. This is, this is really weird. <laughs> when was the last time you had to employ it, Michael? Oh, I'd say... God, about two weeks ago. Yeah? What, what happened? The classic thing of the, um, you know, the tourist walking out of the, um, the department store and stopping, and I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> and I walked up and they were there in front of me, and I went, oh. why did you... <laughs> and walked around and carried on walking. What are you thinking, Diane? Does this have the ring of truth for you? Yeah, it does. He seems really convincing. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Why are you getting so upset in the first place? Why don't you just be like me and just really lay back? <laughs> just get outside the department store and just stop and enjoy life. <laughs> when I've ever left a department store, I'm always sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bizarre behaviour. If well, you encountered it, you know? You can't spend your life doing that. So, what are you going to say? So Truthful. we're going to say, you'll say true, you're going to say lie. Yep. I'm going to have to go lie, can't be true. You're say it's a lie. OK, Michael Smiley, was it the truth or was it a lie? Oh, ye of little faith, it is the truth. Oh. 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 Brian, it's your turn. While searching for a mythical beast in the jungle, my boat was skippered by an orangutan. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we've had this one before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'll make it, I'll make it easier. It was a canoe. Right. It was paddling a canoe. I wasn't imagining one of those big no. cruise no, no, ships. No, not a big yeah. ship. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I went as the guest of the Viceroy of Malaysia, and we were there specifically to hunt uh, for the Orang Pendek, up right Sorry, Brian, man, can I just uh, stop which, is, uh, which no. is a kind of yeti. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we got into the canoe, and there's a canoe there, and this orangutan, they always love me, because I, I look like a gorilla. I got in it, and it rode, yeah, and it yes. rode, and I made noises at it. Uh, I actually g developed uh, the noise for uh, the King of the Gungans in Star Wars. I played Boss Nass. And when the Jedi wanted me to help them, oh, they sorry, all kneeled sorry, in front one, of me. I... I stepped in front no. of me. <laughs> <laughs> Say, say, and this, when I did that to the orangutan, you yeah. went... <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, so let me clarify. You're in search of a mythical beast, and you arrive in Malaysia, yeah. and you come across a river, you get into a canoe, the canoe at the oars That's of the right. canoe is already an orangutan. That's right. He starts rowing. That's you right. You give directions to the orangutan uh, using noises later to be employed in a major <laughs> sci-fi franchise. <laughs> How far did the orangutan take you? Oh, like 10, 15, 20 miles. Oh. Very powerful. <laughs> Very did upright you feed body. Him? And he, at the end of the journey, when we got <laughs> off the bank, he gave me a wonderful, big, deep throated kiss. Oh, I would like to that? pause the proceedings and, and, and have a word with my client. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, we'd we'd like to change our plea. And he liked <laughs> and he liked <laughs> and he, he loved it when I <laughs> He loved it when I built. <laughs> Let me ask this. The, the orangutan, was he paddling with an oar? Oh, yes, he's right. Or was he yes. paddling with his large hands? I know, he was paddling like an Olympic rower. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> come on! <laughs> <laughs> so, David, what is your team thinking about Brian's story? Kate, do you think it's well, true? Well, I like the detail, but I'm concerned about the distance the orangutan succeeded. Had it been just five metres, I could have believed it, but all that way... I think it would have the upper body strength, yes. but would an orangutan see the point yes. of, <laughs> of throwing strangers 20 miles? Do you know, the only thing I don't buy is that. <laughs> Well, I once heard a podcast in which someone described a chimpanzee making a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So, Sorry, David, you have won me yeah, round. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying it's true? Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. true. Brian Blessed, was that the truth or was it a lie? 
true. <laughs> <laughs> A possession. Ah, there'll be a box under your desk. There is. You, uh, put the object that's in the box on the desk first and then read the card, please. This is the bottle of hand gel I used to wash my hands before I handle my main bottle of hand gel. <laughs> <laughs> David Street. <laughs> I think we can see the reasoning behind that. <laughs> So, so uh, explain your process. In this day and age, you have to be very conscious of germs. And, mm. um, and I meet a lot of people and have to shake their hands, and some of them, you know... Are diseased. Potentially a bit unsafe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I will have a, a bottle of hand gel, cleanse my hands, then I can get the other bottle of hand gel now, that the, yeah. the outside of which... That, so the second bottle remains pure the whole time? Very pure. Yeah. But if you take the bottle in the hand you didn't shake yes, the yeah. person's hand with, so that hand is clean, all you need to do is just pour it on both hands, you'll have no problem. Yeah, well, you make it sound so easy. I'll <laughs> 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 tell you how all this started, and I think there is some... <laughs> sort it of started trauma. when you picked up that box and opened it. <laughs> <laughs> there is some sort of trauma that I've got, and it was from a time... Being in a gent's toilet, don't. Uh, <laughs> and what happened was, I have trouble reaching things in the toilets, you see. And, and one occasion I went. What are you trying to reach for? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you need this stuff. <laughs> well, it's, it's, this is how I developed. I, I, I squirted some of the cream soap on. <laughs> right, <laughs> on the wall. Okay. But it was only then I realised I couldn't reach the tap. <laughs> From that moment on, I, I, I pack a couple of bottles of hand gel. How soon after meeting us, we were all here about tea time today, <laughs> weren't we? How soon after you came in with a lovely yeah. day, great to see you again, we was, everyone was shaking hands. How soon after that did you scurry away, <laughs> <laughs> reach into your pockets and furiously... <laughs> <laughs> how, how, what, 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 what's the gap? Well, it's just... <laughs> It's just whenever I would get a, a quiet opportunity to. Uh... I don't think this is the truth oh. because I've had several interactions with Warwick Davis and I don't think that this is something I would have missed. He certainly didn't do it after, immediately <laughs> yeah. after. I if, he's, if he does it, he's subtle. You, you, you have to be, don't you? I mean, I can't be seen to be going, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that's rude, yeah. isn't yeah. it, then? And it's not just... Hello, mm. it's hello. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, you know how you can do it. You know, if I'm sitting at a table and I meet somebody, I can do it down here. That, that's <laughs> worse. <laughs> that's definitely worse. <laughs> OK, it's time to take a guess. Uh, what are you going to say? It's a lie. It's a lie? Lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Warwick, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was... A lie. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. If that isn't the hand gel that Warwick uses before his main bottle of hand gel. It's David. I once hired a jet ski for... <laughs> lie. <Forget it. laughs> we need to hear no more, David. <laughs> I once hired a jet ski but couldn't work out how to stop it so had to buzz around the bay for 50 minutes until it ran out of petrol. <laughs> I take it back, I, yeah. you did. I can <laughs> so imagine you doing that. Please, team. So where was this? It was in Antigua. In Antigua? It's... Was this in your boy single lads days? He never had those days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's your first time on the show, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Why no, were you in Antigua? On holiday. Was the Winchester Steam Museum shut? <laughs> Why yes, yes I, I, I arrived at the Winchester Steam Museum and it was shut, and so I went straight to Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> when was and, this? Uh, I think about two years ago. And um, who were you with? My uh, wife. And what got into your head? I could imagine you renting a sun lounger and opening up uh, a weighty tome. I, I could imagine that. But I can't see you saying, now you relax here, I'm just going to go <laughs> and bomb around the bay for a while.
Were you with your wife on the jet skis or did she stay on the on dry land? Uh, she stayed on dry land. So you were on your own going round. Yeah, you yeah. were with other people. And just it was you. your idea. I just, I look. I thought I'd have a bit of a go. What were you wearing, David? Uh, uh, sort of swimming shorts. What length were the shorts? Were they sort of Daniel Craig, <laughs> or uh... so they weren't as long as Daniel Craig? <laughs> <laughs> What do you wear? Like shorts. I said swimming shorts. They've got a pocket. Wow. They've got a pocket. <laughs> they've got a pocket and they've got netting on the inside <laughs> to keep everything in order. <laughs> All right. Then. You jump on, you're looking back at your wife. Ah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm not like, ah, look at me at all, because I must say, as soon as I get going, it becomes immediately apparent to me that I don't like it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, here's a big question, then. You did it until the petrol ran out, did you say? Yeah. So, did you manage to time perfectly that the petrol had run out just as you got to back to the jetty? No. So you were stuck now in the middle of the sea? Yeah. I didn't... What I didn't do is head straight out away from the coast. <laughs> the point where my plan... <laughs> formed, I thought, I'll just go up and down quite near the jetty, thinking I'll, I'll be able to swim to the jetty if the worst comes to the worst. So what I happened then? You just it. kept going, kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. Yeah. Talk us through. Well, I kept going, I kept going, and then eventually it coughed and spluttered. <laughs> <laughs> and All right. Lee, what are you going to say? What do we think? I... You have a great physique. <laughs> You've got to warn me before you say things like this. <laughs> a great physique for what? For maybe, I don't know, a game of billiards <laughs> or Cluedo. Yeah. And I don't quite think that jet skiing is completely your thing. I agree. <laughs> I don't even think he has ever been to Antigua. <laughs> So you're saying lie, you're saying lie. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie? I'll go with the team. David, truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh. Oh.